Here's what I thought it was like to be a consultant. You travel around the world, stay in awesome hotels, and expenses all your meals on company credit cards. The salary is great, even right out of college. And you basically get paid to make presentations. It turns out I was completely wrong. I did extensive research on the consulting career. And in this video, I will share with you what it's like to work in this field. I will discuss what the title consultant means, the pathway you can take to get into this industry, the skills you need to be successful, and what you can expect to get paid when you're just starting out. My biggest takeaway, no matter what you're interested in, there's a type of consulting out there for you. Now, working with clients can be challenging. Work-life balance can be hard to come by, and the interview process sounds like a little bit intense. But at the end of the day, consulting is all about helping others. Now, let's get started with the basics first. What is consulting as a career or job? Now, it's a very good question and one that I think a lot of people wonder about. Now, there are a couple of different ways to look at it. Let me explain to you in simple terms. Think of a consultant as a doctor, but instead of treating people, they treat businesses. Just like a doctor diagnoses and fixes health problems, a consultant examines a company's challenges and prescribes solutions. Now, imagine you are a chef trying to perfect a complex recipe. But something's not quite right. A consultant is like a culinary expert who comes into your kitchen, watches you cook, and then offers tailored advice on how to tweak your recipe for the best results. That's what consultants do. They fine-tune businesses to help them perform better. But consultants don't just work with any one type of business. They're like smartphone apps. There's one for almost every problem you can think of. Need help with managing your money? There's a financial consultant for that. Want to improve how your company operates? There's a management consultant ready to help. And finally, think of a consultant as a coach. A sports team might be good on their own, but a coach can help them analyze their gameplay, sharpen their strengths and their strategies, and push them to excel. Now, consultants do the same for businesses, helping them grow stronger and more competitive. So, consulting is all about solving problems, using your expertise to make a real difference. That's the word, real difference. Okay. Now, let's look at a typical day in a consulting job. A day in a life of consultant is likely to vary depending on the exact nature of their work. Now, they typically either work as internal consultants for organizations to help employees and departments improve their output or as an external consultants providing expert advice to clients. Now, a day in a life of consultant has a lot of ups and downs, moments that really matter. At times, physical pain of pushing oneself to the limit for too long and sometimes breaking breads with who's who of the industry. Now, one of the upsides and downsides of consulting, depending on how you look at it, is the fact that things are always changing and you are always doing something different, working on different problems with different people for a different client. Now, in general, work involves evaluating clients or employees' requirements, conducting research, prospecting the market for new clients, giving presentations, meeting with clients, even traveling if your job is to meet clients. Now, day also revolves interviewing one of the departments or clients to determine how things are done now, how they compare to competitors, and what should be improved. So the work can vary as per the role. Now, let's talk about what can you expect to earn as a consultant. I know, everybody must be waiting for this. Picture this, you are an artist and your paintings become more valuable as you gain fame and experience. Similarly, in consulting, your value increases with your expertise and the results you deliver. Now, entry-level consultants can expect a solid starting salary, competitive with many other professional fields. Now, as per Glassdoor, it is about six to nine lakhs per annum in India. It's like starting a game on a higher level where the rewards are always ready, quite good, and they're only getting better. As you climb the ladder, your earnings grow significantly. Now, experienced consultants can earn as much as senior executives in other industries. And as per Glassdoor, it's anything of upward of about 20 lakhs per annum and can go up to one crore per year as well. In dollar terms, it's between $100,000 to about half a million dollars with incentives and bonuses. Now, think of it like reaching the final round in a game show where the stakes and the winnings are much higher. On top of your salary, there might be bonuses, which are like performance incentives. Now, better you perform, the more you can earn, similar to a commission a salesperson might receive, but in the world of business strategy. So pay potential-wise, it is a great career. But remember, with such pay comes big responsibilities too. Now, meeting and at times working for about 10 to 14 hours a day and even more at busy times. So that's pretty common. So when you try to choose a career in consulting, you must understand pros and cons. Now, here is something that you will live about being a consultant. Think of it being as an explorer. Every new project brings a chance to dive into uncharted territories. 
you're constantly learning, growing and facing new challenges. It's thrilling. It's like starting a new adventure with every client. Plus, you get to meet a lot of interesting people from different backgrounds and industries. It's like being at a grand party where every conversation teaches you something new and could lead to unexpected opportunities as well. And then there's the flexibility. Imagine having a magic schedule that you can often adjust according to your needs. While it's not always possible, many consultants enjoy the ability to work remotely or choose their work hours, much like a freelancer might. Now, finally, there's the satisfaction of making a real impact. Yes, as a consultant, you help companies solve big real problems, right? It's like being a part of the team that scores the winning goal, knowing you played a key role in their success. But it's not all that smooth sailing. There are some challenging things about this role. Consulting can also be like riding a roller coaster with plenty of ups and downs. Work can be incredibly demanding. Imagine preparing for a marathon over and over. The pressure to perform is high and it can be exhausting. Then there's the travel. It might sound glamorous to visit new cities and countries at first, but think of it like being on a never-ending road trip often away from family and friends. Now, it can get lonely and tiring also. Job security can sometimes feel like you're walking on a tightrope. Projects can come and go. And when the economy slows down, consultants can be amongst the first to feel the pinch. And while you do get to work on a variety of projects, this can sometimes mean a lack of control over your path. It's a bit like being a passenger in a car. You're not always in the driver's seat when it comes to choosing the direction you're headed. This is especially true in the early stages of your career. It depends on the roles that you get in your organization. Okay, so now we have explored a bit. So what about the top companies in consulting? Now, I love this thing. So first come the big four, consulting or accounting firms, right? A lot of people didn't know this. They're Deloitte, Ernst & Young, KPMG and PwC. Those are largest accounting firms that also have consulting arms for the businesses. So when you hear the word consulting and when you hear about consulting in college, those were the key firms that people are trying to get into. They would go to recruiting events at beginning of the school year to try and secure jobs and internship over the summer or full time also. There's also MBB, which is McKinsey, Bain and Boston and Consulting Group. Those are also large consulting firms that are more focused on management consulting, specifically strategy consulting. Whereas the big four are are accounting firms that also have consulting. So that's a difference you must know. Okay, now let's talk about some tips and basic roadmap to help you get started on this exciting career path. First up, think of becoming a consultant like planting a garden. You need the right seeds, which in case you are your skills and education. Now, most consultants start with a degree in a relevant field like business, finance, economics, or technology. But honestly, you can major in anything and get into consulting. It's like choosing the best seeds to ensure your garden grows. You can also take some online courses and I have listed my top recommendation courses in the description box for your reference. As an undergrad, your goal would be to attend recruiting events that are put on by these consulting firms, network and build a connection with these firms. Now, while a bachelor's degree is a good start, think about adding master's degree or an MBA. These can help boost your expertise and make you stand out in the competitive consulting landscape. Next, you will need to water and care for your garden, right? Or in career terms, gain experience. This could be through internships, part-time jobs, or even volunteer work related to your field. Now, each experience helps you build a robust resume, like a garden coming into bloom. And don't forget to network. Connect with professionals in the industry through networking events, online platforms like LinkedIn, and by joining relevant associations. Now, these connections can lead to job opportunities and mentorship. Yes, super important. Another way you can get into consulting is an experienced hire. Now, if you are joining as an experienced hire, you probably have some work experience that is not consulting, but have some transferable skills. So for that, you would really just go through a normal application process and apply online. Or if you are able to make a connection with someone who works there, get your foot in the door. Yep. There's also people who will get a lot of work experience in one industry. Now go get an MBA and then get recruited into consulting firm. That's also a good roadmap. Now, along with this work on skills, the top three skills essential for successful career in consulting that I found as per my research and talking to a lot of people working in consulting roles are, number one is problem solving skills. At its core, consulting is all about solving problems. Consultants need to be able to quickly understand a client's challenges and develop innovative practical solutions. Next is strong analytical thinking thinking and ability to break down complex issues into manageable parts are crucial as well. Now, this skill allows consultants to deliver effective strategies that can be implemented to improve a client's business operations. Next is communication skills. Effective communication is key in consulting. Yes, consultants must be adept at communicating their ideas clearly and persuasively to a variety of stakeholders from C-suite executives to operational staff. 
so this include excellent verbal and written communication as well as being good as good listener to truly understand the needs and concerns of the clients now being able to present complex information in an understandable way is essential whether it's through presentations reports or casual conversations last skill is adaptability and flexibility the world of consulting is fast paced and often subject to rapid changes consultants need to be adaptable and flexible to respond to new challenges adjust to different business environments and shift gears between various projects or industries so this skill ensures that consultants can maintain their effectiveness regardless of the external pressures or change in the project scope and client demands so make sure to work on these top 3 skills all right so we have covered a lot today Consulting offers a world of opportunities from solving complex business problems to impacting various industries. It's a career path that promises significant rewards but also comes with its fair share of challenges. If you are considering a career in consulting, think about these aspects carefully. It's not just about what you can offer to the consulting world but also what this career can offer you. Yes, in terms of personal and professional development. Make sure to always highlight Got any questions about starting a career in consulting or maybe you have some tips to share from your own experience drop a comment below i would love to hear from you and if you found this video helpful please give it a like share to your channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss out on the latest content that i create thank you so much for watching this stay tuned for more insightful videos and make sure to follow me on my social media platforms the links are in the description box below until next time i'm with you for you on this beautiful journey and keep analyzing and stay curious i'm shirish i'll see you very soon bye